What's up guys, FM Tactician here and we're back with the third episode of Gallivanting. Uh, as you can see the game today will be Carpati away which is the second leg which only means one thing, um, we're still in it. Um, but before we get to that we'll just go through all the other fixtures first. Um, we played Gurnik Kiviri again, went to their ground 3-0, comfortable win, nothing really to talk about. Drew 1-1 at home to Desna. Um, we were probably even game you can't really it was a fair enough result we went to Bukovia and lost 2-1 um, disappointing really fairly even game they were perhaps fortunate but they had more shots on target than us we didn't really take our chances so it could have gone either way uh, they went played Dinamo Kiev second team beat them 2-1 those stats don't really tell the full story. We we were on top for the 70 minutes of that game. Then we kind of just folded and just let them attack us. So we were more on top than those stats seem to show. But we've come out with the win. We then we went to Poltava, 1-2-0. Again, that ridiculously even game. Just we've taken our chances, which is nice to see. And then we'll just ignore the cup game for a minute. We played Gurnik Sport, drew 0-0. Um, we were fortunate. They were on top, and I think they were top of the league at the time, so it's a good result. Um, then we played Mikhailov and Alexander Mjernjene, I butchered that, uh, scored four. Um, he's been incredible, to be honest, but he is injured, so he will be missing this game. And we played Starley at home, drew nil nil. Fairly boring game, nothing really happened. And Sumi away, I was getting nil nil. They did have ten men, and it was, but it was an even game. We didn't really capitalise on it. So those are the results of the league. Now the two-two against Carpati. Um, we were fortunate. I'm not gonna lie. We came back twice, so it's a good show from what we were. What coming back from two 0 down is not two 0 down. We were come back from a goal behind twice to a team that's in the Premier League is obviously a good show. Oh, for God's sake. He's obviously a good show in. And if you just look at how that you could tell they were the better team because they were able to just keep the ball on the highlights and just create chances like that. A lot of our chances came from the likes of set pieces and that's where a lot of our goals have come from. I'm not going to lie. We are quite a dangerous team on the likes of corners, but... From open play, they had us in their back pockets, really. And um, if I remember, yep, yeah, the second goal came from a free kick. So both our goals from set pieces, and you know, against when you're coming against sides like that, that's the only way you're really likely to score. Um, but just for a second, I'll just focus on Alexander Major, who is out. He's got a twisted ankle, be out for about a month. Um, as you can see, he's done brilliantly for us so far. Eight goals in sixteen games with three assists. I've got no complaints about him. Um, so, it's just take us to the lead table. Well, we are sixth. We've drawn half our games. And I reckon half... Of, we've drawn. We've had six nil-nils. Um, but we're six points off top. So, we're not a million miles away. But we are seven points off 14. So, it's a bit... We've got a... It could go either way. Hopefully, we'll go up towards the likes of Bukovnias and Gernic Sports. But... Not too sure at the minute. As for this game, um, I did find out that away goals do matter, so we could be in a bit of trouble for this game. Um, also, I really, we're ten to one. We're not likely to be able to keep them out, so we're gonna have to score two, if not more. Um, but quite frankly, I expect this to be a bit of a hammering on their part. So we get into it and we'll see how it goes because we have been playing well in the league, but Carpathia are just a different level of uh, opposition and they're just a class above, despite the fact I believe they are struggling currently in the Ukrainian Premier League um, on this. So they're not one of the best ones, but they're still... A Ukrainian Premier League side, which is something obviously they've got over us. Um, 
also I in yesterday's episode I did make a mistake. Um I believe I started ch- chatting a load of crap about how Carpati played Celtic in the Europa League in the Champions League and I was as I was going through this, played the first leg, I was thinking it wasn't it wasn't Carpati at all. It was uh, Shakhtar Karagandhi that I was thinking of. So I hope I talked about that, otherwise I'm just chatting a load more crap. Um but we the opening to this game they're they're knocking the ball around quite nicely okay. Their keepers just kick the ball straight out, but they're obviously on top. We're obviously pl- playing on the counter. We're trying to going to get into it, but we're going to have to hope they can't take any of their chances because this is could be a high score game if they score fairly early. And even even has done brilliantly. Uh, I think he made one fairly big mistake so far, but our defensive record has been ridiculously impressive the amount of nil nils we've had obviously sums up about the attack but the clean sheets that we've had are ridiculous so I think we've kept four clean sheets in a row in the league as well so teams haven't been able to break us, break us down and put the ball past the keeper which is a good thing but obviously we, we're not scoring the most and they've got us on the set pieces Dimitri Salaton is that Dimitri? Dimitro? Scoring 1 0 Carpati. And this game could go on for a while now. Uh, decent corner, near post header. Eh, man on the post possibly could have dealt with it a bit better, but. You know, I'm not going to have any complaints about this game no matter what their score is, so. just going to see if we can go at them a bit more perhaps it'll run their score up but we can't really sit back now They we've got to go to them and attack because we need two and this could come back to bite us and it probably will so oh left back finish read that run and Southern makes it two and now it looks impossible um, left back's misread that he's been done and then they've crossed it in and it's not the best of defending and we're probably disappointed to concede that so we've you know what the fact that the first leg ended 2-2 did surprise me especially when we were 2-1 down at 1-0 down I thought this is game on but at 2-2 Two one, I thought. Now nah, they're just gonna make it about four one now, and oh, Zagnilov has just put in one of the most dangerous balls we've done all season, and no one's there to tap it home. Um, well, as you can see, the second half we are kind of creating a bit more, but it's still not going in for us, and just getting one would be nice at this point. I'm not anticipating or scoring, but getting one would obviously be a, a good achievement. Let's see if we can make a change. See, if, see what we can actually do here, because the game appears to be petering out. We're, we're definitely creating a lot more in the second half, so... Oh, come on. We're, we're, as you can see, the chances we're making, there are inside the box, so... That's a good ball. Shipula... Oh, We've come out of our shell a bit, and this is it appears to be working for us. Um, but they can obviously just at this point just sit back, hold the lines. They don't really need to do anything worth noting of, and they're going to run out easy winners. Uh, I thought that was going in, but um, yeah. So we're going to crash out the Ukrainian Cup, which isn't really too big of a surprise when you're playing. Aside from the tier above, but first leg did give me confidence. Four two and I agree. That's not too bad. Um, we we've played fairly well there. Creating ten shots away from home at a big team is a f- good score, no matter what. Not good score, but a good performance nonetheless. Um, Ukrainian Cup third round. 
as we look at it, we've never really had a chance of winning it. It would have been nice to get as far as we could. As you said, the board did only want us to be competitive, I do remember. So, I think we did that. Um, now then, there's not too long left in this season. So, I may just go to the end. Um, Gurnick spot away. They're obviously second, so this could be a big game nonetheless. But anyway, that should be it for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, do leave drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.